Hey, an excellent morning, everyone, different parts of the world. Dr. Harry Benjamin here. Quick shout out on the Wealth Creation Project lesson number 27. Uh, when I was coming up, you know, as an entrepreneur and distributing automobiles, uh, we made a lot of income and we got to a really comfortable level of lifestyle. Uh, being able to do, you know, cruises, go to nice resorts like Atlantis in the Bahamas, you know, take a trip to Cancun, Royal Caribbean cruise, Disney cruise, that type of stuff, and was able to live in a resort style community. But the thing is that it was one business. And looking back, one of the biggest mistakes I made was to become comfortable uh, in that zone of what it is that we had accomplished. And I didn't learn at the time how important it is to live outside of your comfort zone and become comfortable being uncomfortable. So we should always be in an uncomfortable place in terms of going for bigger goals, going for bigger dreams, expressing more gifts, more talents, more capacities. But I didn't understand that at the time. And sometimes people misconstrue that to believe people are greedy when they're trying to express more of their gifts and their talents and their capacities. I'm not saying people aren't greedy because greed... Uh, can you know overtake us in the process of expressing our gifts and our talents and we are accumulating 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 rather than really just being responsible and having a strong financial structure on top of which we can build and grow and develop ourselves and do even more so it's very important for us to understand how money works and really to understand the importance of not being comfortable because when you become comfortable ah you know another opportunity comes in your life for you to take advantage of and you to participate with you say no i'm fine you know i'm okay everything is fine and it's fine today but three four five years from now you know the economic situation could change the dynamics could change you know your particular industry could start to be affected because of a change in the government or a change in the world or a change happening and then your business now is flat and you're in your struggling to get your family and yourself back on stable footing, which we had to experience because I didn't understand the importance of having different businesses and different ways for money to come to us so that in the event that the one that we were in, you know, ran into challenges. And some people think, oh, it'll never happen to me. It will never happen. I'm fine. You know, and, you know, that is just nearly not a responsible way to go about this. So my lesson today, lesson 27, is that while you're coming up as an entrepreneur, set your sights to not get comfortable. Even if you're making a lot of money in the space you're in, develop another space, develop another space, develop another space. Because it gives you financial security if one of the areas or a couple of the areas start to underperform and are not pushing off enough profit. You have other areas that are developing. I started doing it, but I started late. I should have started at the very early stages when things were really rolling and doing well, and then start to diversify and go into other industries and generate other ways of generating income. So I'm passing that lesson on and hopefully it resonates with someone out there so that you do not make the same mistake that I made in the process of coming up as an entrepreneur. So with that said, that's lesson number 27. Hope it resonates. Stay uncomfortable, right? Stay outside of your comfort zone. Do not live in your comfort zone, okay? All right, bye, bye, bye.